Squeak, squeak. Shout out Fat Rat. Was in it. Yo, what's good, man? It's the boy Santo Vuelo, St. Dominic. You know how we get down. What up, what up? What up, what up, man? Mizo. 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 Your host, Mizo. 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 Host the 20 on the town. 20 on the town. 20 on the town. 20 on the town podcast. You know you tuned in to 20 on the town podcast. Yes, yes, still man. But I don't think you would understand the level of love even more it would go if he just came here. Right. Yeah, I don't right. think he understands. Right. Yeah, right. nobody right. cares about that stuff. He no, he may be thinking yeah. that. Absolutely, that's all the younger gen- mm-hmm. gen- mm-hmm. 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 generation just know you as Uncle Charles. They just want to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the young generation don't know they don't that care. Man, you know, we can tell them how they did, and they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. We like, dude, that was. I ain't got nothing to do, man. I just, I just came through contact. That's all they care. You know what I mean? That's what the man. You talking about? I mean, he he get his flowers. Here. Yeah, I mean, people would. already give them to them. Yeah, right. Come tell us. Okay. Yeah, what about that? When they, was, when they were saying, oh, right. they were from Tulsa. Now nah, it's popular to be from Tulsa. Come people on now. who I know that let me know. I didn't see that from here. <laughs> no, they didn't see that. When you be so, you loaded yeah. up. Uh, I was really just, uh, man, letting y'all partake, man. Oh, this, yeah, is, cool. uh, this is, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't, you can't fake that. No, you can't fake that. You can't fake that. Right. 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 So yeah, yeah. Uh, we appreciate this content. This is really probably some great yeah. A right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, yeah, uh, but yeah. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 what's happening? Uh, this is 20 on the Town podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Lizzo. I'm behind the camera today, but uh, I'm sitting down with... Uh, some producers and musicians uh, from the town, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and um, they did a single off the uh, Fire and Little Africa compilation, you know what I'm saying? And uh, a song that uh, featured Steph Simon, uh, Dial Tone, uh, Nancy Fletcher, and also uh, Charlie Wilson. And uh, we sit down today to tap into that uh, that single, but also some of the uh, the work behind the scenes of producing a song and something that's going to be real big for the city of Tulsa. Uh, <clears throat> man, I want to introduce today uh, to the, I guess it would be my left, but probably y'all's right, uh, Papa, producer. Papa. Uh, All right now. You know what I mean? Also, uh, Jimmy Joe, you know what I'm producer, co-producer. Uh, also, we have Perry Harding. Yes, P Funk. P Funk. It's all good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, guitarist. Yes. And also uh, Billy Bruner, bass Hello. guitarist. Yes, sir. For Hello. sure. For sure. Uh, let me. <laughs> <laughs> to the show 20 on the town <laughs> podcast uh man y'all man. got a hit on your hands yes, you know sir. what i'm saying Thank uh God. the title of it is called party planes right you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying uh speak on the title uh well just party party playing is just kind of it is like the influence of the the gap song party train Right. And it's, but it's just a it's just an all aboard thing. Like we're trying to bring the whole Tulsa. Like come on, mm-hmm. everybody from Tulsa, this ain't just for us. It's, mm-hmm. You know, when we say everything is us, we mean everything, it, everything is us. So yeah. get oh, on the plane. Don't miss the jet. Don't be don't be <laughs> jealous and miss this plane. Come on, right, right, right. 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 Get, on, <laughs> get on up here with us because we don't real. we don't want no you know we don't want repeat history of people not helping each come other. On, get, your on, ticket, you know, pull get your ticket. Get your ticket and get on. <laughs> get on. Yeah. So that's yeah. what the party plane is. It's, it's basically, it's the Tulsa plane. Get on it. Right. You know, because it's about to take off. Like an uh, updated version. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, I just want y'all to uh, kind of speak on uh, the parts that uh, every single one of y'all played in mm-hmm. making this song. Well, I, I started off with the the, the the whole production of it and you know we kind of I always send stuff to Joe because I know he you know he knows what I like and he, he and me and him got that same kind of like you know like influence of, of music and what it's supposed to be and you know stripped it down and kept my drums on there you know because I you know me and Joe I send Joe stuff all the time and 
you know, he just added his flavor on it. He, he replayed some parts that I really want to replay. He put them chords on there that just, you know, sound. I mean, it's like a, a full group effort. But I don't have to call Joe and say, hey, man, this is what I want. This is what I want. You know, he, he already know what I mean. He, he did his thing. He, he just filled it out. It, make it, like, it makes it a full co-production because, like, I don't have... Like I don't have to be here because you know I sent it to him from Virginia. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm Tulsa to the core. Yeah, you're from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I let that know. I said to Jay, I let that know. You know. As far as production, just the 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 idea of where where I wanted it is it, pretty much he redid it without me having to tell him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I always wanted the bass we played with a real bass. You know the digital stuff is is cool because that's what they, but I still like authentic bass, authentic sounds. You know instrumentation because right. a lot of instrumentation is lacking in mm -hmm. music today. It's you know, real. You know you don't you don't have people. Everything is in a, a VST. You know mm -hmm. a key or you know I, I can put I can play any. I got a bass on there, but it's just it ain't. <laughs> I can't walk it yeah. like you can a real one. So, you know, <laughs> You know, okay, yeah, yeah. you put that guitar on there like that. That's real. You know, it, it, Joe just got that feel. You know, that's my, like my basically the drums, and you know, I got a, a couple other sounds in there that's Don't just you, you know from me. And then I pass with Slap Joe. Slapping drums, slapping drums, man. Thank you, Papa. Anyway, for letting me hop on the track. But yeah, man, it's that Tulsa sound, man. Um, wow. Shout out to Steph, man, that quarterback. Just really. It was him and Steph putting this on the um, Steph project before mm -hmm. yeah. I came into the picture. Okay. Steph was like, no, nah, let's send that to the Funk Chariot, which is my studio down the street. So, man, I heard that thing and I couldn't do nothing but call my dad and my Uncle Perry. Like the first time I heard it, first five minutes, I said, man, y'all shoot over here real quick and let's, let's do what we do yeah. best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's get on it. We got some homework. Yeah. So, yeah. man, it was a blessing. Um, there were some parts that I changed in like a diverse shortened some samples at first, um, mm -hmm. changed the chord structure, man, and it just came together beautifully, man. So, yes, sir. So, yes, sir. so I just appreciate everybody yeah, involved, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And we did this for Tulsa, but I'm going to pass it to the Funksters over here, P-Funk mm -hmm. and my dad, you know what I'm saying? First generation. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to you gonna speak on it. Yeah, yeah, but his brother P-Funk, man, he's a cold man. I'm, 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 I'm going to say that first. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I named him, I gave him the name, Tyler P. Funk, years ago. Oh, yeah, way back. And, and it blessed me now to hear everybody, he, it's kind of stuck with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But he's a funky boy, but now, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I play, you know, I play, I play some of everything, man. I'm, 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 as a matter of yeah. fact, I surprised a lot of people with the bass guitar, because they, they never really know I played bass. That's not even his primary right. instrument right. at all. Okay. My, 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 my axe is key. Yeah. Just a musician all around. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I'm, like, it's, it's God's gift, but I, I'm not afraid to try anything as a good except to an instrument. I play a little acoustic guitar, I play a little bass, man, but it's, it's, it's funky. I'm doing what I do, man. That's very unselfish for him to play something that he's not primary yet. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, right. I'm, I, he could have played the keys or something else, but he played right. where we needed him, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. Right. Right. That's right. Tulsa. Right. right. Then you yeah, tell right. the cat. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Whatever yeah. you need. It's, it's yeah. always good, man, yeah. uh, as far as that goes. You know, he could have he could have dropped in a bit. Should have dropped some funky <laughs> bass keys on it. <laughs> <that. laughs> you know, right. A bass right. line right. that would have been even cold, but you know, we try to we try to keep it real and just stay true to the track. You know, Joe's producing. He kind of, you know, I can put stuff in there. And I, it'll it'll come from my heart where I'm playing. But sometimes we might need to change it up just a little bit. And that's that's where the production comes in. Mm -hmm. and, and you might say, well, okay, well, let's that I like that or let's do that, but let's try this also. So you gotta, you know, you keep open mind to all of it and, and just and, and mm -hmm. just touch on, you know, just. You know, just vibing. It, it, we we found it anyway. We so I mean, we've been doing this. We've been doing this. Yes. We went to Trinidad. We went to yeah, yeah. 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 Joe brought us down to to New York, to New York. man. Yeah. East, yeah. man. My dad and my yeah. uncle. Yeah. Man. We did some work for our W. So yeah. right. it's, it's right. a blessing to work with somebody like Papa. They got the the MIDI game and the, and the drum sequence and on point because it makes it easy for us. I'm to track is real, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just walk in there and funk it up. <laughs> 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 Sample music and you know, cause most of the time people are sampling this because they they love the idea or the the um, musicianship of the originator. Mm -hmm. So you know, when, to me, my idea of a beat every time, cause I don't I don't like to sample. You know what I'm saying? But it's just sometimes you sample something 
just because you listen to it, you're like, man, I like that. You know, let me try to see like if I could put it in my style. But right. I, I literally always want something replayed yeah, with right. the real, like with some real instruments. That's you know, it, man. Like, okay. I, like I'll sample it, like, and okay, I give you this is what my idea is. I always send, like, when I send Steph party playing, I sent him the one with the sample in it, and then I sent it to him playing without the sample. You know, once I build around it, I can take the sample out, and you can hear what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm not as talented as, like, as far as, like, like actual playing of instruments, not yet. but I can give you, like, you know what I'm saying, once I, once I build around the sample and take the sample out, you can hear where I'm trying to go with it. And I always, since I don't live here, I always have to tell Tom, I'm like, man, if you can get somebody to replay this part, and get somebody to you know do the keys over right, right, right here. Right, right, right. You know, say, like it'll fill it out. You know, because right, sometimes right. a sample yeah, fills out the song too, a little bit more. Too, 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 too. So you oh, take okay. it out, it makes it a little thin, and you want you want somebody to replay it. Yeah, uh, Perry, you, you you played on another one of my songs, another day in Tulsa. That's on yeah. Oasis. Right. It just man, it just really <laughs> plays the guitar on it, then it gets to the end. Oh my God, it right. just fills it out. And you add that. It had that real musicianship to it, man. It's like yeah, it's, it's, people don't understand. Yeah. Like when somebody keeps saying that, like it's a, it's an understatement. Real musicianship, musicianship is needed. Very, you know, you know, yeah. It, yeah. It, it it lets you know that, like, okay, you know, this is some real music going on here mm -hmm. with this beat. It's just not the same old eight oh eight loop. This right, and just right, somebody right, rap over right, it. Okay? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you want you got it got to be a whole because the, yeah, right. the voice is an instrument also. So if you add that in. Yeah. You want it to be some real musicianship going on. Yeah, real funkin' ain't dead, is it? You know what I'm saying? Real funkin' ain't dead, is it? Real scared. Real scared. Yeah. 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 Sometimes people, you know, they may they may look at my style of beats, you know, because I'm not I'm not like hip to all of like the young way of making things. Because you know, I've only been man, I've only been producing for about six years. I, I was okay. a rapper first, and I was like, okay, I moved, and I was like, I was like, I'm done rapping. I, I want to try to like be behind the scenes. I want to make the music that people rap on or sing on. Right. So I was like, I, I quit rapping, and you know, of course, you still make music. You may, you know, but it's something you don't release. It's just kind of what you do. But it's some people may look at my style and be like oh it's kind of sound a little old or whatever but tone like when you have artists like tone Steph, and verse they make it mm -hmm. up to date like you yeah, know what i'm saying because yeah, they yeah. know how people who know how to create a song yeah right, yeah, right. you know what i'm saying right, some right. people they want the beat to make the song form right right <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. 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 right they want the beat to make the song right. form mm -hmm. I, I mean i send something to verse and you know verses is is one of those like true, real, real hip hop type. Of person. I didn't think he would like it, but it, mm -hmm. man, he made a song out yeah. of it. I'm like, he's an artist because mm -hmm. he can make a song out of it. Right. So when I send Steph and Tone stuff, and they make songs out of it, and then people come up to me, oh, you made this beat, or oh, you made that beat, man, we love that beat, man. Hey, what's up? We need to work. And so I'm always posting stuff, but they don't ever want to work because no, they don't, they don't, they don't <laughs> hear the finished product. They right, just hear the right, beat like, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and I'm like, no, you got to make a song to it. Like, <laughs> you know, like, you, you, you got to. That's the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, no, the beats knock. Uh, sometimes right, the beat, right, sometimes right. beat will knock you off your socks and like, ah, anything I do to it might sound good. Right. Sometimes you got to be an artist and make a song to the music. That you makes know? sense. Yeah, yeah. That's why Steph and did the party playing. Right. Well, yeah, every time I said like, this is the, I'm not gonna. Said it full, but this is the third one for me and Steph as mm -hmm. far as who we sampled. Like it's the third one for me on each album. You know, the first one was uh you know was outstanding mm -hmm. basically. And then the second one, Upside. you know, we did Upside and, and then this one was gonna be the trilogy. And I said we weren't gonna do no more. You know, like this is gonna be it. And it was there and then they they were like, you know, we love the, the, the feeler project is good, but it's like missing something. Mm -hmm. It was missing like the Tulsa sound. Yeah, yeah. I tell you all the time, my music is gonna always be a Tulsa sound, which is likewise. Um, because <laughs> Tulsa sound, don't get me wrong, oh, yeah. that word isn't new. No, 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 Tulsa, no, no. Eric Clapton it's a real took, thing. Eric Clapton took oh, the Tulsa sound. Mm. It's a real and thing. Eric Clapton is Eric Clapton. He took the Tulsa sound. That, that, Tulsa that, sound. Yeah, right. that, right. that right. music ain't that sound oh, ain't new. Yeah, that right. 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 It's a Tulsa sound. Eric Clapton is Tulsa sound. You, so you take that mm -hmm. from back when they was recording at that church, all that Tulsa sound back then, and then you have uh, you yeah, know, the migration of West Coast yeah, artists, yeah, yeah. West yeah. Coast people, California moving from California to who were getting in trouble, they moved to Oklahoma and St. Mm -hmm. Louis. Mm -hmm. So you bring yeah. all these people from the West Coast here, and then so early in the, the West Coast didn't do nothing but sample them. Mm -hmm. So no I always tell people my Tulsa sample sound, too. Yeah. right? Oh, that's, yeah. what said, that's what I said. So my Tulsa sound is basically. That old toast sound in West Coast.
Tulsa's always been funky, man. Always. Tulsa's always, always been jazz. It's, 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 it's mm -hmm. an uh, amalgamation, man, of everything. Because we, growing up, man, we had we, we listened to art, we listened to uh, rock and roll. This is Jimi yeah. Hendrix. Oh, yeah. We listen to funk, we listen to blues, we listen to jazz. I mean, we just went in a lot of the cities and states and towns. They listen to only one genre, a couple mm -hmm. of different genres, yeah. but we were kind of fed everything. I mean, yeah. that's what makes us who we are today. Mm -hmm. And them old heads had a lot to do with oh, it, too. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, big we were bands. playing with some old heads, yeah, man. Big bands and all that yeah. stuff around yeah. here. You know, famous Get people. Props to those guys who are older than Matt Daniels and oh, yeah. Blast yeah. Turner and all those guys. Old, old yeah. guys that right. you never know about, but those guys had bands and. Damn. And they would always want some youngsters, man, to come in and play. You know, yeah, man. Bo Diddley and them. Yeah, I'm going to catch Bo Diddley. Bo Diddley's cold, man, that's yeah. 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 We got to show them some love, man. We just we didn't just talk with us. Old heads, man. Oh, yeah. I, I, I always tell you know Tom, Antonio and, and Stephanie years ago, like a decade ago, I would always tell them, because I always, I dig, you know, once I find, I listen to some or I see some, read some, I dig, and I tell them, I said, look, Back in the, the, the 70s and all that, and they, I said, artists, major artists on labels like Mercury and all that, I said, they had to come through here. Mm -hmm. And if your record was popping here, oh, it's good everywhere. Because, oh, I mean, this is one of them towns you had to stop in mm -hmm. to see what, what your music was. Yeah, okay. it, this, I mean, Tulsa has got a rich history of Very music, so. mm -hmm. good right. musicians, mm -hmm. bands, funk. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, like you said, funk and jazz. Like, it, Tulsa is deep-rooted in really good music. Yeah. Always has been, and that's the Tulsa sound. It's, it's once again, it's rock and roll, it's country and western, it's the jazz, mm -hmm. it's all that gospel, oh, gospel. Oh, thank yeah. you. All those things put together. So I, I tell, tell people, I said, why you think Eric Clapton stopped here and was like, okay, let me hang out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He soaked it up. Yeah. Let me get Leon some of that. Leon Russell, 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 Big, big names coming through here. Like the they love coming through yeah. here. Yeah. Big Ten. Yeah. 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 They redoing that right. In fact, right now. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, mm -hmm. Doctor Left Show. Doctor Show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which you know that's family. Family. Yes. Yeah. Sir. Yes, you know sir. what I mean. My uncle. Yes. Sir. Um, so uh, I just want to know like the direction that y'all felt like you know when you you know you got the call from Steph or whatnot about um, uh, party planes. And you know, uh, I guess uh, knowing about some of the features on there, and uh, you know when you uh, when you sat down and talked to him, like what was like the direction, or was it a vibe or a feeling that you got from it, and then you let that take y'all away, or was it like you know what I'm saying there was a mindset going into it? Well, I think it turned the party playing after he made the music. You know what I mean? Like that concept didn't come to after because that's the type of person he'll hear the music, he'll come up with the concept, come up with the video, all this in the same day. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? The lyrics, okay. Okay. who he won't yeah. go on it, you know, when he wanted to drop, like he, he's mm -hmm. one of those cats. So yeah. He's yeah. definitely yeah. visionary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so Papa made the music. He had him send it to me. By then, I think it was already party playing by the time he got to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put uh, we, so we recorded Fila last in March 2020. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right. So, you know, we were outside. Um, it was me, uh, a couple other artists that's on the Grand National, and um, uh, Chris McCain, Steph. So this we, we had like a little luncheon with the artists and producers, and they was just basically thanking us for all been able to gather because people were coming from Oklahoma City and I was coming from Virginia and of course the artists that was already here who had to work and they were coming in and so you know after that I I was I, you know I had already sent stuff to beat like months before mm -hmm. and so you know I played the instrumental in the car and so Steph rapped the parts and you know and people were like man so but this is for Steph's album mm -hmm. this wasn't okay. made for Fila like right, this is cause right. you know what we made of Fila is for Fila like uh -huh. during that time so this is 
months before. <laughs> so you know, this was already step step my step. It's like, man, I want to have a video kind of like how Dr. Dre had oh, keep his like, <laughs> like he literally had all this mouth. I was just listening to him because I'm letting the beat play. He had just finished rapping and we let it play again. And Chris was like, man, that's hard. <laughs> and so, but he just kind of kept it in the tub. And we, of course, me and Joe had did a, uh, another beat that because. When we came, like they wanted us to send beats previously, you know, so everybody can write to them. The artists can, but that, that's just that's. I did send them, but that's not how I work. I kept. We had to end up using my computer to record, so I couldn't make beats while people were there because we had to record right, to right. songs previous. So every time, me and Joe get there early in the morning. Joe so usually 20, the first one there. I'm following about mm -hmm. 20, 30 minutes behind Joe, yeah. Yeah. and I set up. I set my computer up, and I just kind of just record and kind of go room to room, and then. But and we would be there at 9, 30, 10 in the morning and wouldn't lead to 2 at night. So this is how much recording was going to the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I, would, when I would leave there, I, when I got to the hotel, I would set up all my equipment, brush my teeth, take a shower, go to sleep. Then when I wake up, I make a couple. You know, mm -hmm. make a couple. And then so it was one I'm playing, and I'm like, I made this last night. And Joe was like, oh, so he added something to it, and then... Steph was like, I mean, Tone was like, let me, I might need to keep that one. And so, you know, Joe had a little more to it, and then he he added some verses, and then L2 sung on it, and then we had another verse, and then it, it wasn't for Fila either, you know, because it was just something, it was kind of outside of it. But then they heard it, they was like, man, what, what's up? What's up with this song? <laughs> like, you know, because it's that Tulsa sound. Like, it, yeah, it, yeah. don't get me wrong, it, everybody was not, it was talented. It, it, mm -hmm. there, but mm -hmm. this sounds like Tulsa, you know, like something that, like, derived from, you know, the original people, you know, the original musicians. Right. Like, it sounded like it just us with a little little drums. Tasted like Nathan. Yeah, a little bad. <laughs> little, little drums on it. You put, you know, put a little to modern drums on it. And but so, but that was made during Fila, but mm -hmm. party playing wasn't. So they they was like, man, it's just missing something. And they heard party playing and stuff. Like this is for my album. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, you know, it, it, when he sent it, Steph, when Steph we sent it to me, it had uh, the bass that Papa Bruno played mm -hmm. on it. And then I heard I heard uh, Joe come in with, with some keys. And at one part, I really wanted to replay it anyway. And our parents, I was like, hold on, I took my headphones out. I had to run the house, hook it up to the studio. <laughs> I said, I want to hear this knock real quick. I turned that all the way up. And I was like, oh my God, it's so loud. I was like, don't worry about it. Just turn it all the way up. And I was like, I called Steph. I said, man, I, I, I swear to God, this is the honest God truth. I called Steph. I said, man, we get somebody to re-sing this, this sample part and take it out, mm -hmm. man, we can win a Grammy with this. Yeah. And, and you mm. can ask Steph. Wow. Mm. That's my honest. I said, yeah. And of course, <laughs> this is something you say like, man, we can give Charlie to resing it and be good. But yeah. you, don't, yeah. you don't truly think that'll happen. Right. So right. This, is, this, is, this, right. this was before yeah. Motown. Yeah. This was before you know, Motown. So this okay. is before Motown. So you don't think that's possible? But no. I don't, we wanted somebody. I wanted somebody else to sing that part so I could take that out. I always wanted it out because I just built around it to get the mm -hmm. idea out. Mm -hmm. So you know, with Joe's. Them co-production or like they basically took it where if I could play what they could play, that's where I would have took it. <laughs> right. right. I'm like, man, right, I mean, right. you know what I'm saying? This right, and right, man, right. hey, right, right. I call Steph. I said, when I say he walked that bass on that thing, like I mean, because yeah. yeah. well, you yeah. know, it just yeah. kind of start off, yeah. kind of like how I had it, but then it just it went on out. Yeah. Man, it went right, out, right, out right. there. I was like, yeah, yeah. Th this is what I'm talking about when I say making real records. Mm -hmm. You know, real, mm -hmm. real production. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't mind if somebody, you know, because most people want, they want all the credit. They want, look, man, if somebody can make it sound like a, a, a real record, or because they do it all the time in the industry, oh, you yeah. just, it'll yeah, just yeah, say yeah. one right, person right, produced yeah, it. Right, right. But you'll have Dr. Dre produced by Dr. Dre, but you'll have Scott Storch who played the keys. You'll have Colin Wolf who played the bass mm -hmm. because it, I mean that don't mean it. You know, say so you're still a producer on it. And so to me. You you need people who make records, real records. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sound like a record. Real sound, not done. everything done. digital. It's okay yeah. if you do yeah. digital stuff. You yeah. make some good records, oh, but you know, yeah. sometimes you make a digital record. But if you get somebody to replay it on it, sounds better. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It sounds yeah. because I man, I look. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, since I've had the last, the latest, and the last condition that they 
sent in for the record to be complete. I've only had about two weeks. I guarantee I've listened to it a hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ride to the gym, yeah. work out. Like, I listen to that record because I, I mean, right. it's, it's a it's a even if I didn't produce it or yeah, you know yeah. or had to hand it, I would still listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's when a, we got some Nancy, we got those Nancy stems. Like Steph sent me those mm -hmm. stems. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this 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 is going. Can I say something? Man, going going somewhere. somewhere. The whole you know it. Yeah, the whole party party playing thing. I had a time wrapping my head, head around that concept. Right, right, right. right. Party plan. Yeah, I'm like, like party plan? Your party plan. Everybody all aboard. Yeah. You got to get on. Uh, man, but when we started funking, man, I said, oh, yeah, this is the one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we in the air now. Yeah, yeah. 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 you, like, you, Take you know it. You yeah. know it when you know. It's on the jet. And you know, yeah. sometimes yeah. we don't say, yeah. hey, man, you know, I'll, you know, this is week. Because, you know, when you, this is going to be, these are local artists who are, um, about to release something on a major label, like for the first time mm -hmm. from here, you know, like that, because we're just local. Mm -hmm. But w when you hear the record, even if you're not a part of it, that's one of the records you be like, man, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's you know, that, that's, that it sounds good, it, you know, the, the musicianship on it is good. And then they're gonna be like, oh, you know, Charlie Wilson's on it, the raps are good, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, so it's not like, it's everybody. Everybody's yeah, good yeah, on everybody. it. So it's yeah. not like somebody's holding back on the line. Right, right. <laughs> everybody yeah, don't win. So yeah, you, you hear it. Like, 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 like this, is, yeah, 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 this is a record. We do have a track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, yeah. Like this is a record record. On the one. Crazy. Like, yeah. Play this funk on it, man. Yeah, put that funk on it, man. And he just looking at me, and I'm like, what's up, man? And like the acapella come on. I was like, hold up. No, that's Charlie. <laughs> you know, it's like, you can hear it, so I was like, "Hey, man, mix that record and send it to me." <laughs> he sent it to me like two days later. Yeah, yeah, mix that record and send it to me because I got to hear the I got to hear the full thing. I got to hear it on that bass. I got to hear it. You go back and put it on the system again. Yeah. What was when he sent it to me? I, I, you know, you automatically love it because you know it's something you were part of producing. And helping build, so it's like you when you listen to it, I'm like, okay, man, I love it. But then I called Steph, I was like, hey, I mean, I know you want to rap on the hook. I said, but man, we need some room for him to be here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Steph was like, what you talking about? I said, no, I need, I need, you know, he like to go real Put the mic loud. Down. He like to get real yeah. loud. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know, he got to have those. Like if you listen to uh, the the song that got Snoop and. Uh, Oh, that's stupid. Justin Timberlake, yeah. And he yeah. gets, the, oh, we, yeah. uh, dum, dum, dum. like he got to go a little higher. Right, I, right, said, right, he, right. He, I said, he sound like he just doing your ad libs. I need him, I need him to sound yeah. like he is singing the song. Right. And he's brave. Like, that was but brave. then he that's called it. him and told him that's himself. It. He's like, nah, I need some room to do this. I was that's like, good. Yeah, that's good. Because, yeah. Yeah. But even though I, I love him, yeah, I love him regardless. Right. But but I, I, love, I love what he did on the project, too. Right. 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 Yeah. Cause you know what he he did it like a person who wanted to be on the song. Right. Mm -hmm. and I, and I, I can respect it because sometimes you pay yeah, you artists, yeah, not yeah, like not yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah, not yeah, nobody on Charlie yeah, stature, yeah, but just yeah, an yeah. artist who is like just known and or who's got a little buzz. You pay them sometimes when you local and they just gotta give you something. They mm -hmm. don't really like don't put no effort That's in. That's a hard minute. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. He he sounded like he wanted to be on the record. Mm -hmm. Is what I, you know what I mean? And, he sounded like you can tell he like Charlie. Or, yeah, uh, either, yeah, yeah. Either. Well, he, he wants some some of the last some 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 of the last of you know all time of, of type you know something that's gonna last that generational type, generational type uh, song because I mean of course like you say he's wanting to make a statement too about being from here too. Right, that's right. what I'm saying. I think he understands the platform that he's about to be on exactly. and at the uh, right time mm -hmm. as well. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Time and just right and, and it really be kudos to y'all because y'all actually. You spoke it in existence. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kept telling him. You know, I kept, but I, I just, I really wanted it replaced, especially once I heard it. You know, with what y'all done to it, I really, I was like, man, we can get that sample out of there, man. Oh, you know, what I'm saying, right. you know, you just because I'm, I'm just, I'm not a, I'm not a person who like to sample, period. But I don't, especially songs that are known, that known and known. recognizable. You know. Mm -hmm. If it's something that you can, you just you 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 sample and nobody's really heard, but it, you made it funky, you made it your style. Yeah. It's kind of different. You're like okay, but we can we can pay these people sample, but like something like that, everybody knows it. You know, right? Everybody knows their true. record. But, but it ain't just, it's not just like the original though. It's, yeah, it's, it's not, not, it's not like the original. At all. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, another creation. And by him, yeah, with all our production, it. Yeah. it it don't it when you snatch the sample out, you would never know. 
Cause we don't have to. That's not what I'm. I didn't make the beat to sound like the sample. Okay. Right. I only used the sample right. for right. the hook. Right. You know, so right. you know, they had that same part. And I told Steph from the jump, I said, man, when I sent it to him, he said, oh yeah, I like this one. I said, but we can get somebody to replace that. This is Jan uh, July 2019. So we can get somebody to replace that. Two It'd be years, even better. Two years. But then ago. I didn't hear nothing yeah. from him for you know months. Mm -hmm. We just talked, and then when we came here in in, in last March. And I played instrumental. He rapped. I said, "Man, you already wrote to it." He said, "I'm like a whole song, got a video." So he had it all mapped out already. I was like, "Cool." I said, "But yeah, we can just get somebody to replace, sing that part, take it out because I, I, you know, you want, you know, you got to pay, all, you got to pay all the musicians, man, when you sample somebody's stuff. You know, you got to be respectful. You got to." You know, back in the day when they made real music, you had somebody that got credit for playing the cowbell. Oh, yeah, they like, yeah. When they when they made a beat, the production, man, you had a person who played the keys, the keyboardist got paid, the bass player got paid. You know, yeah. Right, yeah. You had to pay people back then when you made music. And I'm not sure people know, like, for him to hop on it is a big compliment to, uh, our, our 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 music our career because my parents would tell you like for him to hop on something that sounds like his song is not something that is, yeah. you know no. what I mean? yeah no. like a remake right you know, right they, they don't do that you know uh, what I'm to the, most time to them they like man yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. I will say this, he had to hear something right. he had to hear something that he right. wanted to be on. Right, right. 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 And, it just, and it wasn't just money. Like no, I said, no, no. he heard that real musicianship. He heard them keys, he heard that bass, he heard the guitar. Back. He heard he like, this. Oh, 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 oh y'all ain't just, y'all ain't just, just back. yeah, y'all was saying on a little machine. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, some real music. Yeah, with all due respect. Yeah. He spent grandma's cornbread. He told Steph, he told Steph, he told Steph, he needed to, his, his engineer told Steph that he's like Charlie said, man, you know, he he never heard nobody like do his music like that. Mm -hmm. Music when they sample it, they just kind of sample it. Yeah, it's just basically the same beat. You know, like right. you hear uh, the Nas Life of Me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you hear like Nas's Life is mm -hmm. Life's a Beat, it ain't nothing but uh. Yearning, yeah, 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 it's the same thing. They just kind of pitched it down and wrapped over, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. but it's it's still yearning mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. You hear people who do redo outstanding or yeah, there goes my baby, which is outstanding. You just it just basically they just remake that beat. Uh -huh. We didn't remake Party Train. We didn't remake Party Train. Had a little breakdown in it that had him, you know, a little bridge where he was singing something different, and that influenced it to yeah. for me to build that. But when you listen to him, I, I don't sound like I sampled Party Train. I no. sound like I made a beat that was influencing. He liked the way he's like, man, I just never heard anybody flip my music like that. And mm -hmm. for him to say that is a compliment to us. But like, okay, I, I mean, yeah, because we didn't just. Steal, cause man, a lot of all people when they sample, sometimes they just kind of just steal. You know that like you just you use that <laughs> and that sample is basically the the meat and potatoes of your beat. You just added some drums right, right, over it, right. and a little eight oh eight over it. That was so, a vibe in the studio. Like I'm, let, let's not be gap bad in, in, in here. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Not gap bad at all. At one point, at yeah. one point, do we have them in mind when we was creating the song? Right on. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. It just turned out. Yeah, it turned out. Got your own signature on there. You know what I'm saying? Now, even with the even with the words, you know, like the, the the parts that he's saying, you know, some of the words are from like the idea of it is party train. Like, you Shout know, out to Will, pretty yeah, everybody yeah. all the yeah. tall guy named yeah, Will. Yeah, tall guy named Will wrote the part yeah. for Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was much longer than that. We were kind of shortening it, you know, to to you know to fit in it, you know, because you don't want a real long song. And kids today expense uh, attention span ain't like it used to be. So it's like you know, <laughs> records used to be six, seven minutes right, back right, then. Right. Yeah, you, no yeah, more, you no gotta more. get about four, four and a half. You gotta get right in there and get to it. Get out, so bro. yeah, and, so, yeah. yeah. Will, wrote the, Will wrote the parts for Charlie, so you gotta give credit to Will. Yeah. So he's also a you know tall guy, he's a producer, but I you know I send stuff to him to write all the time too. So he's always been a great writer. He's another he's another person like me. We me, him, Tony Steph are in a group together. Me and him both decided to quit rapping. So, huh. But he started making beats, I started making beats. And it just kind of went from there. Tony and Steph kept rapping because it was just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I didn't, I didn't stop rapping to make beats. I was making beats for myself. And then I just decided, I was like, 
He said he stopped rapping, but somehow he made the Fila album. I did yeah. make the Fila album rap. It was a reference. You know, uh, Ray June, Shout out Ray June. He came down with a record from Canvas. And uh, uh, he, he did record the hook. And, and Joe recorded it. And then I was like, everybody was just listening to that over on the loop, on the loop, on the loop. So I like I started writing the verse in my head. And I was like, OK. I was talking to DV. I was like, DV, you know, so somebody came in like this. And Joe was like, Papa, record that. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> he told me to record that. I was like, all right, bet. Oh, and it kind of just, Great like time. I said, everything just, that's, that was the beauty of the whole, doing the whole process is ideas taking off. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you, you at home a lot, you, you come up with an idea, you may record, you may not, or you may work on it. But in that setting, you just kind of, everybody was a little competitive mm -hmm. with their writing mm -hmm. or with their B you want. She's like, man, I yeah. hope somebody yeah. records some of my beats oh, and yeah. whatnot. And that's why I said I, I like to I like to work on the spot. So I, that's why I kept going to my hotel at, in the morning and making beats. And then I come back before everybody started recording, I play a couple. Just to right. see, you know what I'm saying? Let somebody listen to some fresh ideas because yeah. the, the, the moment was expiring, uh, mm -hmm. inspired me to make beats. I was like, I, I said, ready. man, I want to make right. something. I thought, because I thought that's what we were going to do. I got bad moves, but that's what I'm about to say. Right. I thought we were about to come <laughs> in and be able to be producers. And people just cook. Right. I know I was an engineer, but I brought uh -huh. all my equipment because I was going to call mm -hmm. Pops Imperial yeah. up there. But it worked out the way it was supposed it to. Did. Yeah, but my goal did. was to do it during feeling, like to set it on fire. Set it up. Mm -hmm. and people so just, many rappers, you know, they were like, pit bulls, let's record. Yeah. Boy, ready to eat. Man, they was ready. Them rappers was ready. Oh. <laughs> they got a Somebody on this? Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Pull out their phones and they was ready. I mean, they, they was they ready. Were chomping at the bit. Yeah. Some of them rapped on like maybe 50, 60 songs. I'm like, yeah. man, y'all are machines. I ain't ready. <laughs> right. 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 I got to be inspired and I got to so make yeah, I got to yeah. make crap. Yeah. Like, yeah, I got to actually rap the song. Yeah. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, my, my <laughs> talent as far as rapping, like, my style is my style. But it's, I've always been a person that I spend some time with a beat. You know, like I, I can, you can write something on the fly, but I like, okay, if I'm making, am I making a song for like, am I featuring somebody or somebody featuring me? Or am I making something that's gonna go on an album or a project and put out? So I like yeah. to spend time, but man, those artists was coming in, they're like, somebody's on this song? And it was like, oh no, we got a verse left, and man, they all sit down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they just, uh, you know, no, me in some of them, some of the bars got a little repetitive, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But some of the, man, some of them were so talented. They named, you know, Chris the God MC from Oklahoma City. Right. He, he's one of my favorites. He's very talented, man. He he sit down here, he asks you if somebody's on it, and they say no. He'll sit there like this. He won't have a pen or a pad or nothing. And next thing you know, 20 minutes later, he got a whole verse. Got a whole verse. Mm -hmm. and, it, 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 and it's going along with what everybody's talking about on the record already. Yeah. And it's not repetitive. And he was, I was like, man, you know. Doesn't sound like a person's talented. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right, you right. Know, right. On the so. subject. Right. Yeah, man. You got any more questions, me? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, how was it working with Nancy Fletcher and her lineage? That's awesome, man. It just ties in my dad's generation, ties yeah. in the nineties, ties yeah. in me and Papa, yep. you know what I mean? Killing everything from ninety nine on, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's it's beautiful, man. I never thought I'd work with her, Charlie, my dad, you know, on a final right. Africa project, Papa, Uncle Perry. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, beautiful, like, man. Um uh, funky. Uh Steph was like, yeah. uh, you know, that Don on is Nancy Fletcher. Right. And I looked at him, because they already know the you know. My favorite The dog of Sam Fletcher. Yeah, my, right. my yeah, right. my right. favorite right. artist is right. DJ Quick. So, you know, I'm mm. already like West Coast like as far as style, I'm like yeah, his arm right. is his aunt is who? Right. He's like Nancy Fletcher. I'm like, man, you know she sung on Dr. Dre record and she sung she you know, only people who would like uh give her, her credits, her due, is is Nate Dog and Tupac, two mm. people who mm. passed away, but they the ones who would always give her credit and you know mm -hmm. let her sing. She sung on records with Tupac and Nate Dogg all the time. Right. Yeah, they would the give her you know major credit, which is but you know when you have people like Suge, you know he's that label. He only care about his artists. So if you're not his artist. It's just like hey, you hanging around? Yeah, Can you sing around. a hook? Sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you on the record, but you know we, we don't do that. Yeah, they gonna do all the paperwork. You said who was that? Who was 
that. Nancy Fletcher so, 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 she's been on some legendary She's been on some legendary records, man. Right. She was on, right. Even on the skits, like the little oh, the little house party yeah. skits on Doggy yeah. Style yeah. when they answer the door yeah. and they she's one of the women oh, in the yeah. skit. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. so she yeah, she was on Death Row doing all them records with Pac and, and Nate Dog. So that's what, to me, that's what I say, it's me and Joe for our generation, but you know, his pops and Perry, Nancy and Charlie are right. all legends. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they're, mm-hmm. and they're, yeah. all, right. they're all legends. So it's like people don't understand what the record means to me and to Tulsa. Right. It's right. like y'all don't understand. Like right. you know what I'm saying? When I when I when I when I understand somebody is a legend and then I, I listen to all the things they've done, like yeah, like this is a uh, like so, you gotta pay your mm-hmm. respects. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they've been putting it down for, for, yeah. for me and decades Papa, before we even they, came along making music. They, they used to kick with Charlie all the time. Right. You know yeah. They went to Booker T. Washington. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Yeah. Robin yeah. Lynn, Charlie, and yeah. all of them. But right. they used to kick it. I'm gonna let them tell it. But they haven't seen a work with Charlie in in a matter of decades. Mm-hmm. And yeah. for me and Papa and Steph and all of us to be the ones to join that time. Yeah. 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 I'm hitting Patton up. Put it back to you, but Charles, he was always a humble guy. Mm-hmm. Robin Lynn was always a humble guy. You, you, you wouldn't think it if you see him. Brother Ryan was the same way. Mm-hmm. I, 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 you know, they were playing downtown in the club, man, and we got banned years ago. And man, them, them Negroes, man, it was, it was smoking. I mean, the place was on fire. <laughs> and, and Charles had to pass by me when I was here to split. And I said, man, I said, man, that was, that was, that was crazy, man. He said, he, he looked at me he's like, oh man, it was all right. Come <laughs> 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 so, on, were you here? <laughs> it was crazy. But that's how humble. That's how humble he is. And that's how humble he was. Yeah. yeah. Plus Perry's band. Tell me about. Yeah, we had, we had a band in the '80s called uh, Satellite Band, okay. and uh, we submitted a demo uh, uh, down to, to Charlie and Emin, and, and uh, was, we was just young kids, man. And he's like, "Well, uh, I like the demo, man." He said, uh, "Can y'all be here tomorrow?" <laughs> we look like, we said, oh, we started looking around like, man, we can't be out tomorrow. We was there in three days. Oh, we, didn't, man. You know, we, didn't, yeah. we rode the bus out there. And he, keyboard playing cold feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe can't talk to me. Yeah, I build, yeah, keyboard player like, man, I don't think I'm going to go. Man. I said, well, I hope you go, but I'm about to go out at Bill. <laughs> Bill's, <laughs> Bill's, Bill's, Bill's is ready to go. He's <laughs> like, he, he said, California, my sister's out there, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so uh, went out there, man, and stayed with uh, Charlie, man. Hey, we, uh, we we got to the bus station, man. And uh, we was doing no Charlie to pick us up. We ain't no Charlie, no Charlie. <laughs> we looking around like, man, we, we're going to get back on the bus and go back to us. And they said, no, nah, man, this, we, we made the total experience of records. Knock on the door and the guy knew who was coming. He said, come on in, we step on the floor in the studio. And then about two, three hours later, later on that day, Clark Charlie come pulling up. He was in the Mercedes, he had a, he had a, a long, he had a, one of them limos that had a, a, a swimming pool in the back of the <laughs> 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 and, 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 and them long limos, you see them on the, yeah, on the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, man, let's go home. And so we stayed with him for several months, man, working on a, on a record. And um, there was one time we were all out there, and Bill, Bill was out there from time to time. He, he had another connection. Bill was doing his own thing too. Yeah, I was doing my thing with Slash Stone. Yeah, Slash I and all them. So Bill down there, you know, he had other avenues oh, also. Man. But uh, so uh, Charlie, one time, he said, man, uh, if you can make, we, we lived in West Lake. He stayed in West Lake. There ain't nobody out there work. When we, they seen us walking around out there, some young kids looking like <laughs> walking. <laughs> nobody <laughs> walk out of here. <laughs> We walking out of West Lake, you know, and but anyway, we, we, we got in the studio and uh, we finally got in the studio. We rehearsed every day. Um, in fact, we was on this wood deck one day rehearsing, and some we, it, we didn't know who it was. We seen some two brothers rowing across. There was a lake out there. We seen them rowing across, and it, it was about sunset. In the canoe. We like, what the heck is this roll up? They come out and they say, "Hey man, uh, why don't y'all? We worked y'all singing out here, and y'all y'all band or something, or whatever." And uh, we said, uh, yeah, well, we out here staying with Charlie. We're waiting to get in the studio. They're getting ready to go on tour. We're going to start working on our album. You know, it, it was total experience. Welcome to Satellite Band all over L.A., Hollywood, Sunset, and all that. The people was buzz going on. Yeah. Who was the Satellite Band? Mm-hmm. They had big billboards up and stuff with our names on. We was just young kids. Mm-hmm. So anyway, we didn't know who them guys were. They said, come on over. We, we ended up going over there. They took us out, man. And, and we didn't know who them guys were. They were producers. They were... 
they were uh, producing. Um, uh, they were they had Jerry Lewis and Jimmy Jam. They were producing Terrell, mm -hmm. Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. It was all that man. We wow. missed out on all wow. that because wow. we trying to be Lord Jolly. Yeah, we missed a big opportunity. Them guys. Yeah, no, Let's no, learn, huh? Let's learn. So there was a lot going on when I got that one. Yeah. That was in the 70s or 80s? That was in the 80s. 80s, 80s. 80s. Yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was in the 80s, man. And so we, we've been around Charlie a lot, man. We, 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 in fact, one time, you know, he stepped there every night. We, we'd be on the couch on a mini move with a, back then, we had Jerry Curls. He had a plastic mm -hmm. bag on the bed with a mm -hmm. mini move. Mm -hmm. We'd be out there practicing. So one day I told him, I said, uh, when you get when you get ready to go to Soul Train, man, I want to go. I be just best around, man. And so mm -hmm. one day we was in down there. I was fixing the sound. He said, "He said, P, you ready to go, man?" I said, "Where we going?" He said, "Up the top of the stairs, clean as a tack." While man said, "The limo's out there. We finna go take Soul Train." Mm -hmm. I said, "Man, I'm on. I, well, I got to go." <laughs> <laughs> I got a little with the Soul Train. Yeah, I was in the back, sitting in the chairs, get my face banged yeah. up, and yeah. Don yeah. Don Cornelius. It's just old, it's old, it's old thing, man. Oh, man. So, man. Back in them days, man. So the time is now for us. Yeah, those so moments, it, right? yeah, it's just yeah, time. Man. Man. Yeah, everything, uh, everything recycles. You know, he he yeah. did. He went his way. We went ours. Um. So, but but it's time. You know, it's time. To, for the, the story, the story is not uh, finished yet. It's right. not untold yet. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you know what I mean. It ain't unsung. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, how long did it take for y'all to put y'all Brona signature on there? That session was about what, 45 minutes, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. take long at all, huh? Oh, didn't take, take long. long. At all, at all. I sit it right back and it was like, oh man. This right, is right, right here in this very room? Or? No, it was in my studio. Okay, the chair, yeah. Yeah. the chair, okay. Yeah. Dope, dope, <laughs> dope, dope, man. Um, and then also just having Steph and Dalton on there, man. How does uh, you know? Uh, how do y'all feel about both of them? Because they definitely are uh, two faces of Fila. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, you know the caliber of artists that they are. They holding it down for the town. They I feel it down like. for the town, and they're 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 two of the main reasons all of this is popping, including Kino and Light Up Verse and all other. Definitely. Other, right. other, you know, the originators, man, of, of that school, of that squad. But yeah, man, Steph's the quarterback. Tone's, the, you know, also another visionary. He's killing that, you know, no parking studios yeah. and, right. and, 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 you know, his music thing. But I couldn't choose two better guys to have on a song, mm. you know what I'm saying, to speak for us. Because we, right. we didn't rap. You've know, you got to believe in the pigeon, man. And once, yeah. once you see what Joe and my brother's doing, man, and then his Steph and. Uh, and uh, what tone, mm -hmm. tone, man, yeah, mm -hmm. it's bananas, and you just kind of feel it that the funk is always there. All you gotta do is play it. Yeah. Funk, right. not, uh, funk not only moves, it removes. Come on, right. Right. <laughs> right. No, see, you, like I said earlier, me, like me, me, tone, and Steph, and Will, we were all the district and, and right. the group ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I'm a little like a few years older than them. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I've always known Tony, but not. Like home because he was my brother's or sister's age. And, you know, what I'm saying and Steph, you know, I used to be with uh, some other guys, and they had a studio, and I had a kid in the studio. Steph was in high school; he used to come to the studio with me all the time and bring me. So then, you know, years later, we just kind of, you know, my apartment on Fifty uh, First and Lewis. They they we turned into a studio. I would go to work. I just leave them the key, and I said, "Man, go ahead, go ahead." They go in there record all day, and mm -hmm. I come in there and mix with all that reverb. <laughs> 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 Drop some, you know, we drop tapes together, then tapes separate, and we was always together. And then just kind of like we didn't go separate ways, it's just we were getting ready to, it was getting ready to be a shift, you know, saying Will was doing something different, I was getting ready to move to Atlanta, and you know, saying, but once I started making beats, it's like we we still always stay connected because it was, you know, it was my brother, so it's like it, it ain't, it was not, it was never nothing, you know, like nothing crazy. We just kind of was. Like everybody wanted yeah. to do their own mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. and thing, mm -hmm. so that's what I say. This record basically is just a full circle of the district. You know what I'm saying? Me being one of the producers on it, Steph and Tone rapping, and Will writing the parts, the singing parts. It's the same people. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like it, it was just never no bad blood or hate or anything. We we family. That's all mm -hmm. it is. So it's like this record to me means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like this, it's the same four. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I got, got chemistry. This box is you're like, right, you're right. right. You're right. I got chemistry. Right. Yeah. I got chemistry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like an automatic. It, it, to, to have Charlie and Nancy on it, it's like we we stayed down for the course and things just Come on, kept man. going their way. And it, bam. Same you know what I'm saying? To Same me, like, like with me and walk. Steph, Never always. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and Steph always got a record on his, you know, on, on his albums. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. The first one, it's crazy. The, the first, on his first album, that was like my third beat I ever made. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Ever. Yeah. 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 It was like my third beat I ever made. Yeah. And then, by the time uh, Visits from the Tit, I mean, um, Born on Black oh, Wall Street came out, you know, I think I got like three or four records on there, but it was like, it was maybe years into it, but it was kind of still us trying to, Recreate the same thing, but just different. Like using yeah. the same person we sound because it was like it wasn't a. Yes, you it. have to do this, but it was a, it was an ideology of like word, okay. we have to tie the Tulsa into it. You know what I'm saying? Like every time we got to at least tie the Tulsa into it one time. Yeah, so that's all right. So then when it came to party playing, like I said, everything always comes back into comes back when it comes to party playing. It was always I'm going to produce Shit, records for you. <laughs> we got to tie the toss into it one time every time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but this time, it took the mind of his own because what Joe and Perry's Pops did to it, it's like, mm. this. no, this is different from the other ones. This, yeah. this yeah. is way different. Yeah. Like, this is, yeah. this is different from the other ones. Like, I'm going to say, yeah. like, yeah. Perry yeah. played on one of my productions before. Yeah. And he, like I said, Joe, he he's a musician he knows what to add to something yeah you know what i'm saying so i, I never even heard another day in tulsa like i knew i sent the beat to uh tone i never heard it until it was done mm -hmm. and i'm like man who put this guitar in there <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, who put that guitar in there i'm like no yeah. oh, okay 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 i see where we going now yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, it's oh. crazy man joe was joe, joe was recording for me man when he was what 12 13 years old man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he was my engineer. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Huh. We had, yeah, we had digital performer. Right? That's all. Oh, for Pro Tools. Yeah. Pro Tools. Huh. Yeah, that's way yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Young man. Got yeah, some skill for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some skill for that. That ain't cutting pace. <laughs> that's 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 the toast, man. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just to go back, just to show you know some of the history, uh, I remember uh, having a conversation with. Uh, uh, Jimmy Joe when I first met him and uh, you know when when I sat down and s just spoke with him I promise it was like an easy 30 minute conversation Whoa. easy yeah. and he was just you know kind of giving me the background and from the stuff that he was telling me I'm like man Jay Bruna man he I think I'm talking to a legend right now. <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you was telling right. me stuff about yeah. going to New York, you and New your York. pops. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was like y'all was getting managed or y'all was managing somebody. Yeah, we were doing music, we was traveling, touring, yeah. um, all that. I told you about my, my downfalls too. All in the same conversation. Right. When I first right. met Mizo, we said I had a heart right. to heart. Yeah. I was helping him with his film stuff because I wouldn't want to do music then. I told you that. For real? Man, I'm just yeah. out here. Yeah, I'm just out here to yeah. be out here. That's before I was producing again. So, wow. yeah, you're right, man. Like, I mean, me and you, we, we had a great conversation, man. And to see how far we both come since then is crazy. Man, look, uh, you, have, <laughs> you have implemented yourself into the uh, culture once again. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Thank the music God. culture. Thank God. And uh, it looks like, you know, you definitely found your space. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, man, including your pops, bringing, you know, lineage okay. into it. You yeah. know, even though yeah. I know he's been doing his thing, mm -hmm. you know yeah, what I mean? But that, incorporating man. it with some of the younger generation, mm -hmm. building that Love. bridge that's yeah. dope. Love. And then Love. linking Love. with Papa, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And bringing real life instrumentation to, yeah. you know, beats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And things like that, man. I, that, I, man. I think that's real mm -hmm. dope, man. Bless For real. I really feel blessed to be sitting here with y'all right now, especially <laughs> uh, also being a part of the uh, Fine Law Africa project that y'all yeah. are on. Yeah. You know, it's going to put us on a big platform. You know, uh, it being picked up by Motown, the compilation album, uh, the door is going to be open. That's what I say. I told people, I said, man, look, even like when once the news finally broke last year of what we did, and you know, you always have some people. Was going. Mm -hmm. I said, man, y'all don't understand the spotlight that's coming. You know, 
just be a part of it, even if you're not a part of this be, project. Be, be doing what you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. spotlight yeah. Doing what you do. If you're already working, yeah. if you're already doing right. what you're yeah. doing and being yeah. good at it, yeah. the spotlight is coming. Yeah. What so are you worried about? Yeah. Feel or not. We're yeah. bringing it, the, the spotlight is coming for everybody. True. True. And to me, yeah. that's, that's what is so perfect about them asking for party play from Steph to be on the album. And the instead, is because the, the concept of it is simple. Yeah, it's it's exactly what's getting ready to happen, and what we said last year when some people were upset that they weren't invited. <laughs> right, right. Yes, it's sure. look, the party playing song is basically saying, man, don't Everybody miss this playing. Everybody everybody's, 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 everybody's all aboard, aboard. because everything is us. No, not us that was in this project. Right. No, everything is yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Tulsa. Yeah. 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 If you're an artist, yeah. your family, people are gonna be like, oh, they got talent in Oklahoma. Right, they yeah. already yeah. know it. Right. Yeah. So they, oh, they go, but they're gonna come for it. So yeah. it's like everything. Look at the lineup on the festival. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what what I'm saying. Yeah. From, from, from grandma's baby to big names, right? Too, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and like, even like, even the wide range. Right. Yeah. Even yeah. the lineup yeah. of that festival. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that's on the lineup ain't on the album. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's just showing you that man, this is all for us. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? But hey, we just we made this project and we boiled it down to. You know unselfish, what I'm saying? Man. To, to unselfish, man. Unselfish, right? And all them definitely so unselfish, unselfish, man. They still get because so much they, heat, mm -hmm. and they so unselfish. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that, that comes with the territory. You know, say, you know, my life is coming. You know, you know, you know, you know, when you go fishing for the village, everybody can't get in the boat. Come on, man. That's that's all I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Man, yeah. dope session. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Papa, Jimmy Joe, Perry Hardy. You know what I'm saying? Billy. Yeah, yeah, All right. yeah. The Tulsa is because you know being able to let me work. Get, let me get a close up on that right there. That I know and, and cool with. You know what I'm saying? That's the only.